Howdy, AP Pre-Cal. It's Ms. Kush. I am continuing on with the AP style way of doing 3-2 and 3-3. Three, three. Um, my previous video looked something like this, so you go find that one. Um, and we're saving it for when we get closer to polar, but I already put the notes together, so I'm doing it now. Um, okay, so we talked in the last video about how the coordinates um, x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. Um, and so on this one, to be honest, and we need to be experts at the unit circle. So when I look, um, here's, anyway, here's my work. When I'm at 7 pi over 6, I'm down here, and so what are my coordinates? It's a positive root 2, and it's a negative, positive root 2 over 2, and a negative root 2 over 2. Um, so the, what am I doing? I was sick yesterday. Have I said that? Um, okay, and now I have to take those coordinates. So there's, uh, there's um, the cosine and the sine value, and I need to multiply them by the radius. So this gives me coordinates of 8 root 2 comma negative 8 root 2. And that's how we do that first problem. I don't know that I'm going to make a video for all of these or put all of my answers on the video, but um, well, let's see. Okay, this one, 5 pi over 6 lives over here. Um, and so its coordinates are, it's um, a negative root 3 over 2 and a positive 1 half. So we have to multiply those by the radius. And so that doesn't, nothing simplifies. So it's a negative 13 root 3 over 2 comma 13 over 2. Um, and that's how I would think through these. So if we're looking at 5 pi over 3, we're down here. What are my original coordinates? Positive 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. Half of 50 is 25, so this is a positive 25 and a negative 25 root 3. Okay, we're, we're good enough. Well, all right, here I go. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. So 7 pi over 2, this is 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2. Here comes this 3 pi over 2 is also not um, equal. Um, it's going to be coterminal. I don't we have a notation for that, but it's coterminal to 7 pi over 2. Okay, and so what are its coordinates? Well, its coordinates are 0, negative 1, typically. But now we have a new radius. So we're going to multiply this by 32, and we're going to have 0, negative 32. Oh, can you see it? There you go. 8 pi, where, where is 8 pi? Well, one. this is 0, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi. Hopefully you recognize that... Um, that 8 pi is coterminal to, it's an even value of pi, so it's going to be over there. Um, so its coordinates initially, without changing the radius, were the coordinates 1, 0. So now we change our radius, and we're at 11, 0. Okay, <clears throat> so looking at a few of these, this one I knew straight from the unit circle. So what, when I go to draw this, we're at negative root 3 over 2, so we went negative a lot, and, and negative 1 half, and up a little. So it's something like this. Um, and since this is a negative root 3 over 2, and this is a negative 1 half, we are straight on the unit circle. I can do Pythagorean theorem and find out that this is 1, or I can just know this is unit circle, maybe. Okay, did I just say that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's r is equal to 1, and what's that angle? The angle to get there was 5 pi over 6. Okay, the next one, um, 3 root 3 comma 3 means that what I'm looking at here, let me, where do I want to draw this? Okay, I'm going to just draw it over here. 3 root 3 means I went over a decent amount, and then I went up a bit. Okay, so I see 3 root 3, and I see 3. And when I see root 3, I'm thinking 30, 60, 90. Um, and sure enough, here's the 30-degree angle. The 60 would be up here because it's whatever's across from the 30, multiply by root 3 is what's across from the 60, and then multiply this 3 to get the... Um, Hypotenuse, the radius of the circle, is going to be 6. Um, so what's my angle? My angle in terms of radians is going to be pi over 6 is the answer in that column. And what's my radius? My radius is 6. Could I have done the Pythagorean theorem? Yes. Would it have been annoying? Yes. But, I mean, do you want me to show you? All right. Okay, 3 root 3 squared plus 3 squared would be equal to, this is 9 times 3 is 27 plus 9. 27 plus 9 is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. Happy? Okay. Um, let's do, I think this other one is also, this is probably, this was a 30, this was a pi over 6 family. This is probably the pi over 3 family. Um, I don't feel like doing it. This one, okay, if we're at negative 14, 0, we're over here. So what's our angle? Pi, anything coterminal to that. Um, and what's our radius? 14. 
in life good. Okay, um, and then this last one, we're looking at a, and when I see root 2 over 2 over 2 over 2, I think in terms of 45, 45, 90, pi over 4 family. So negative positive puts me in quadrant 2. They match, so this is a negative 4 root 2, this is a positive 4 root 2, and I need, my hypotenuse is going to be root 2 times this, so my hypotenuse is 8, which is my radius. Okay, so radius is equal to 8. What's my angle? The pi over 4 family in quadrant 2 is equal to 3 pi over 4. Now, if I made any mistakes in these few videos, you can comment on it underneath. I know I'm good, but not perfect, and I've been sick. Um, okay, so that is helpful. Let's see. Oh, there were a couple more questions that they asked. You know what? Come back for a third video or a fourth or whatever this is. I don't even know. All right. See you in a bit.